Thank you for watching our video on self-defense techniques. This video is for a technique called defying the ram and it's required for intermediate students at Ellis County Martial Arts. The attack on this technique is a forward tackle or two-legged takedown. So from this position, if I do nothing, Mr. Bustamante lunges in and grabs both legs, pulls them out from underneath and slams me backwards. All right, that is his goal. Now, before he attacks, I want to show you the footwork to make sure you get it right. When the attack is imminent, you're going to kick both feet back equally and diagonally. If you look at the yellow broken lines here, you'll see. So as he would come in, I would hop back and spread the feet out pretty much as wide as you can. Now, in doing so, in order to try to keep your balance, you're going to have to tilt your upper body forward. And that's going to tend to want to make you fall to the ground. So we're going to use that energy to our advantage. Uh, for those of you that might have studied, this is a classic wrestler's sprawl. Okay, where the person's coming in to tackle. Now, one thing that we're going to do different that a wrestler can't do in competition is we're actually going to grab the back of the aggressor's head and smash his face down into the ground. Remember, if he does grab both legs and yanks them out from underneath you, uh, on the street, you could get some serious injury to your back, your neck, and your head if you were allowed this to happen. So this is a pretty serious situation. So we're going to do just that first step. So as he comes in for the tackle, I go back and push down. All right. Notice that you may have to take two or three steps back, continuing to hop backwards and also expand the width of your stance if necessary. We're going to demonstrate that this time. So from here, we're going to start back just a little bit, not much right there. All right, and then I'm going to hop backwards several times. So as he comes in for the tackle, he comes in one, two, three. All right, and then I finally get his head down into the ground from right there. Okay, good. All right, now the next step from there is how do I exit? Let's assume for the moment that when I bounced his head off the ground, it stunned him briefly. I don't want to turn around and turn my back on him, but I also don't want to walk backwards where I can't see what's going on either. So I'm going to exit uh, more sideways or diagonally in this case. And I'm going to use a front crossover step to do that. All right, so from this position, as he comes in for the tackle, one, two, three, he's down. Now from here, I'm going to cross over from here, and I want to go outside the range of where he can grab my foot. Notice he's just outside that range from there. All right. So if nothing else happened, I would continue to exit from here, all right, being able to see who was behind me and also keep an eye on my opponent at the same time. All right. The what if on this technique, I'm going to have you slide back a little bit, Mr. Bustamante. The what if on this technique is that what if as I cross out, he starts to get up like in a push-up type position. So if I cross out from here and he goes to get up and I do nothing from here, he's going to lunge forward and, and come in with the tackle again. Remember, that's what he tried to do the first time, so he's probably going to try that again from there. So what I'm going to do is use the potential torque energy that I've created by the crossover step, and I'm going to use it as a roundhouse kick into the rib cage. Now in class, a lot of times you'll see the partner will lay completely flat and stay there and then the kick goes over the top of them. And that's because they're concerned that their partner is not going to have enough control and they're going to get hurt. But we're going to demonstrate what would actually be happening. All right, so from this position when he's down and I cross out from here, as he comes around, I'm going to come around, boom, and that roundhouse kick is going to catch him there in the floating ribs on the side. You'd be kicking with the ball of the foot normally, unless you have boots on, in which case you could use the toe. Now, from that position, I'm going to use that energy that I created there to continue my cover out this way. So we're going to start back just a little bit from here, all right, and we'll just do the simple tackle this time, all right. So as he comes in from here, and one, he's down, I cross out, he starts to get up, boom, come in, I'm going to use that energy and cross back out again this way. Now I want to step back out in this direction behind him so that he can't easily see me. He's got to swivel his head around and figure out where I went, okay. Now, Go ahead and go back down, Mr. Bustamante. All right, now from here, we want to leave, but we realize uh, we, we aren't done and he's going to get back up again. I don't know which way he's going to roll, one way or the other, so you have to play this uh, off of what he does. But we're going to use a hook kick from here to the face as he comes in. Now, what footwork you use with that hook kick is going to depend 
on how far away you are. Uh, more, more than likely, you're going to use a shuffle hook kick. But if you're too far away, you might need to use a crossover hook kick. It doesn't matter if you do a left or a right hook kick. It depends on what stance you end up in. So we're going to do this from a different angle. Now, go ahead, come on up, so that hopefully you can see this just a little bit better. I'm going to have you step off. You're going to see him go off camera here just a little bit, so it gives us plenty of room. All right, so from this position, he comes in here for the tackle, and down he goes. I cross out. He comes up, boom, over. I cross one, two, back, freeze. All right, now, see how he rolled over like this? Now, in this position here, a shuffle hook kick is probably my best option. So from here, I would shuffle in, hit him with the heel and the head from this position, and then I can come back down and cross back out again as normal. All right. But if I had continued my cover out from there, I crossed out, and let's say I was all the way back here, and he starts to get up. Now from here, I'm going to need to use the crossover hook kick to come in to get the distance coming in from that position. So uh, as you practice, this being a, a, an intermediate technique, you should be able to decide which footwork you need in order to make this work with the hook kick. All right, let's do this from a different angle uh, one last time. All right, so from this position, as he comes in for the tackle, all right, go back and down and cross and kick and cross again, come back up and hook. And then from there, you can cross back out again and check your surroundings. Okay. Defying the ram. Thank you.